And our candle vessel is gonna have sprinkles on the inside, and then we're gonna top it with whipped cream, and then we're gonna add our own cookie, sugar cookie embeds with the sprinkles on it. So. I got that over with. I always dread that first thing in the morning. It's just, it's never easy to get up that early. You know, you're fasted and you're super tired, but I'll tell you what, I'm glad it's over with and I'm ready to start my day. Which one of them dogs wants to eat? Hmm? Good girl. Stay. Stay. What is up guys, I'm Milena. Welcome back to my channel. If you guys are new, make sure you guys go ahead and hit that subscribe button and hit that bell so that way you guys get notified on more videos of all different types of content. Okay, so I'm here to start my day. We are out here in the shop and today I'm going to make, you got it, some more sweets. Well, actually calorie free sweets. So today we're gonna be making some calorie free Yes, dessert candles. You guys, I love making these candles. I don't know about you, but they are just so much fun. So today we're gonna to be making a cookie candle and our candle vessel is gonna have sprinkles on the inside and then we're gonna to top it with whipped cream and then we're gonna add our own cookie, sugar cookie embeds with the sprinkles on it. So I'm super excited. I can't wait for you guys to see how these candles turn out. If you guys are interested in seeing how these candles are made, then just keep watching. What I'm gonna do is go ahead and just start by cleaning these out. And I just take a little bit of alcohol and spray that on here. Spray it also inside the jar. And I make sure I clean these out really, really good. So a lot of times they have dirt and dust in them and we don't want that in our final product. So we'll just go ahead and clean these. Get them all wiped out, nice and clean. Just kind of give them a few minutes to dry out. And they're really not that dirty. They do come with uh, the white lids. So these are all ordered uh, from Uline. And this is just basically the white lid that comes on it. I think you have the choice between a gold lid, a white lid, and maybe a, a black lid. Normally with these candles, I use two wicks. And in this case, I'm gonna try and use one wick. The wick I'm gonna be using today is from Rustic Essential. This is their, I'm not sure exactly. I'll list everything below in the description on what products I'm using today. But this is um, one wick that we're gonna be using. And we're just basically going to stick that to the wick sticker. And I mean, these are so, so easy. So stick that on the wick sticker, bottom of the wick. And the diameter of these candles are three uh, inches in diameter. And then these wicks are perfect for between uh, 2.75 and three, actually, yeah, 2.75 and three uh, inch diameter. So place this directly in the center. And what's nice about these 
vessels is on the bottom they have like a little tiny uh, I don't know what that is but anyway it's kind of like a stamp on the bottom of it and it makes it easy because you can basically just take this and stick it straight down in the middle like so so it makes it really easy and then I just take something and basically press that down onto the glass so it doesn't come loose okay and then I just take this right here this fits perfectly uh, down on there and it basically holds the wick in place and just take that tab I press that to the side so that way it's out of the way pretty simple so anyway that's how you do that but right now in this case we are going to be sprinkling our vessels so I'm going to set that aside for right now and I'm taking this Mod Podge and this was a you know something you can pick up on Amazon I believe you can pick this up at lo your local Michaels maybe Hobby Lobby um, and I, I bought this last night on Amazon and here it is today I got it so I prefer doing that that way I don't have to go anywhere um, and then I got some sprinkles because I'm going to basically paint the Mod Podge on the inside of the glass and then the sprinkles, I'm going to sprinkle those along the inside uh, on that glue so it sticks to the glue. We're going to see how this looks and how it turns out and how it burns. Okay, so here we go. Wish me luck. <laughs> and I'm just going to take a little bit of this and put it on my brush. And you, I guess you don't want too much on here. I'm not going to do too much, but I'm going to start at the bottom and just kind of brush up. And I don't want to go all the way up. The side I just kind of just go along and just like that I try not to make a mess of it it's kind of hard with the wick in the way I should have waited to do the wick I got excited and started uh, wicking the candles and then we're basically going to take our nice little sprinkles right here and pour those in there just pour a good amount inside there try not to get them everywhere like I'm doing right now That's what it looks like once it has been completely poured. There's the inside. So we did not get it on the bottom. I'm gonna go ahead and pour out the extra sprinkles. That way we're not wasting anything. I'm gonna let these sit probably overnight and I'll come back and show you guys once I pour the wax and uh, see how they look. And another thing is I made these little tiny embed cookies. So these are sprinkle cookies. And they almost look like real cookies. I poured in my fragrance, and so I'm just going to stir this here for about a minute. And I want to check my temperature and make sure it's not extremely hot. It's about 123, and I think that may be perfect. I may go even lower than that because I don't want to cause these to melt off the side. So, like I said, we're testing this out to see how successful these jars are going to be with these sprinkles in them. Give that a good stir. Make sure the fragrance oil is incorporated into the wax. It's 118 now, so it's really cooling off pretty quick. I'm kind of nervous about pouring these in there because I'm not sure if they're gonna come off the wall or not. But that's why we're doing this as a test to see, you know, how well this works out. I hope it really does work out. I'm excited because this is a very, cool little idea all right here we go here's the test to see if this is actually going to work i'm going to start by pouring it very very slowly and so far so good And I'm gonna leave a little bit of room just so that way we can make some whipped cream frosting and add our cookie. All right, so I'm gonna let this set up and I'll come back and show you guys how I create the frosting and also uh, add the cookie in there. All right, it looks like our candle is all set up and this took about 45 minutes and it looks really cool. I like the way it turned out. So this is what it looks like and the sprinkles did stay on the side. 
And now here I have my frosting. So I'm just basically, I poured out the amount of frosting that I'm going to need for the top and I am letting this basically get hard. So I'm just watching it every few minutes just to make sure that it doesn't get too hard too fast on me. And I'm just whipping it as I go. We're just gonna keep doing this for probably the next 30 minutes or so, just depending on how fast this is going to set up. And then after this sets up, I have my piping bag right here and just put a little piping tip on the end. I'm not sure how that's gonna look, but we're gonna give it a try and see what it, you know, it looks like. So I'll fill this piping bag up once this does harden and I've got it whipped up really nice so it looks like frosting. And then we'll just basically go ahead and frost the tops We'll frost the top of this candle and then we will add our uh, cookie to it. So pretty exciting. I can't wait to see how this uh, tests out, how it's going to burn. I will be lighting this bad boy tonight. So I'm excited just to see how it's gonna turn out. Okay, so we are ready. I think this is about right. Um, usually I whip this with a mixer, but in this case I'm using just this little hand mixer and it's doing the job. Right now we have got peaks and we are good to go. So I'm gonna go ahead and add this to the piping bag. Just whip it up one more good time. All right. scoop all this out and we're just going to add this right into this bag try not to make a mess like I normally do yeah this is like the perfect cream cheese frosting consistency and it will harden up a little bit once it's in the bag because you know it's it's cooling down but that is totally fine and then on our candle we're gonna take this off so we have some room to work <clears throat> All right, this is the grand finale right here, boys and girls. <laughs> this is my favorite part, piping the candles. And we're gonna stick a cookie down in there. And you guys, I had so much fun making those. I hope you guys really enjoyed this video. If you guys do make these candles, please let me know how yours turned out. You know, tag me on Instagram. Uh, you guys can check me out on Instagram. I'm at, uh, at Milena's underscore creations. And you know, follow me on Facebook too. So anyway, let me know in the comments below if you've tried these candles and uh, how they turned out, if you have any questions or anything. I will be sure to leave everything that I've used in this 
video. So if you guys are interested in purchasing any of that stuff, it will be listed in the description below. And if you guys are interested in more of these videos, let me know. And you can also check out some videos that I have already posted in the past on candle making and also making candle vessels, which was really amazing how they turned out. Make sure you guys subscribe if you haven't already. Like the video and hit that bell. I'll see you in the next one. Thanks again.